Aloha, hey, it's Julie Zemos, 365 Kona. Hey, I'm here with Eric, and we are at Pu'u Honua, Honau now, and uh, it's a state park here in South Kona, and we are going to tackle the 1871 trail for you guys today. This is a um, pretty cool hiking trail. We're gonna run it and take you along, but if you ever get a chance to come down here, state park, you can park outside or be cool and support the park and pay for the five or 10 bucks to get in here. But the, um, cool thing about this is um, we've never gone maybe more than two miles down this trail so it's new stuff for us too and uh, we are taking our water and uh, we are taking our adventure and we're taking you so let's go <laughs> So here we are at the uh, trailhead to the 1871 trail and um, if you are here you would smell the goat that is uh, prominent around here. Uh, we see about like 50 goats behind us and around us so uh, it's definitely goaty trail. Uh, we are going to go at least a mile and a half to maybe so let's see how that goes and um, we've just been attacked by a bumblebee and it's all kinds of fun out here so uh, <laughs> tally for it. Okay, so after the uh, little hike up this little hill, you are greeted and rewarded with a little bench that someone made here. And the view behind you is looking back over the park and you're sitting under a nice shady tree. As you can tell by all the moss on the rocks uh, all the way through here, um, this used to be a uh, little village and you can see um, all the way through here there's uh, ways that they were probably creating um, pens for animals um, and uh, we are respecting, it doesn't say kapu but we're respecting the space um, and also as we go forward there's like a um, an entrance this way and we're going to ask for permission to come into the space that's what they do in Hawaii is a protocol and uh, then it basically says to the spirits beyond that uh, we respect them and that we're coming with them an open heart a trail I have not yet stepped on in the 15 years I've lived on this island there's something awesomely magical about this as I discover something new Hey, so bonus find, we found a tamarind tree and uh, inside is this fruit. And this is like where they basically got the idea of sour a long time ago in the natural world. And um, you can crush this up and use it for um, uh, like a lingmoy. And um, I'm gonna actually stick it in my mouth. I'm just gonna try it. It's very sou uh, sour, yeah. <laughs> but uh, look, it's crawling and it's all back here too. So uh, this is... Uh, not something you find every day. You may think it's a restroom in the middle of nowhere. Look, it's like the best treehouse restroom you're ever going to see in a national park. It is so awesome that this is out here for us little hikers, especially the women. So what's cool about this is um, I have never seen this road in any blogs about being on this trail. So I think people have basically given up way back there. But as you can see, it's like a full on road here. And the way that those sides are, I've heard through the other trails uh, on the island is that they built those up so that the donkeys could come through here. And, and now I'm not too sure about this trail in particular, but interesting on other trails is that um, the donkeys would actually go off by themselves and they could actually get from one place to the other with goods and services. And they would know at the end that they were gonna get a treat. So that would keep them going along the trail. And so I don't know if this that is happening here, but it's interesting as it's like more like a road, but no motorized vehicles are gonna be on it.
seeing that the water's almost all gone, we're going to turn around at this point. Um, we are by halfway, and if we had kept going, we would hit Huakena Beach Road, where you can get onto the beach that way. Um, but we've already been out here for about an hour, and uh, again, <laughs> if we're going to do this again, we'll bring all the whole, you know, hiking supplies. But uh, going back is nice. The cloud covers in, but if you ever come out here when it's bright sun, it is hot because you are on a lava field. But uh, it's been a great walk, and... Uh, it's cool to explore new things like we always do. Aloha. Okay, you guys know that we have to have our sponsor message because we're sponsoring all of our own films. So, Eric and I provide a matchmaking service for real estate professionals for anybody who wants to buy a home here on the big island or anywhere in the islands. We can help refer you to a mortgage professional or a real estate professional. And the reason why I'm doing this right here is because after we just walked this big old long trail, if you want to live here, they're selling lots of land right here. It looks like it's a Ki'i La'e Farms and uh, they're big tracts of land. And there's beautiful spec homes being built up there. So if you want to buy a piece of land and build that dream home, uh, we can put you with the right realtor. Aloha.